In this video, I will show you how to connect to PostgreSQL database using PHP and ODBC. So I already created a database called Web App that contains the public schema. And here we have the products table which contains these columns. So we have these rows and I will show you how to read these rows using PHP and ODBC. First, we need to enable the ODBC extension. So here I am using example. Let's click on config and let's open php.ini. Then here let's find ODBC. So we need to enable this extension, so let's delete this semicolon. And also we need to enable this extension, so let's delete this semicolon. Let's save the file and let's close it. Now we need to restart Apache, so let's click on stop then start. So to connect to Postgres using ODBC, we can use the official ODBC driver that you can find at this URL. So if we scroll down, we can find the latest version and we can download and install this version for 64-bit systems. We can also use ODBC drivers from Divart. So here we can see that the Vart ODBC drivers are fast and widely used and you can use them for free during 30 days. So Divart has a large number of ODBC drivers and to download the driver for Postgres we can click on download. In this page we have 65 ODBC drivers so let's scroll down. And this is the ODBC driver for Postgres. Let's click on it. So here we can see that the Varto DBC driver for Postgres is a high performance connectivity tool. Here we have a comparison between the Varto DBC driver and the official ODBC driver. So the Varto DBC driver uses a direct connection to increase the data transmission speed. Now let's create a new PHP file. So I already created this folder under the public folder of exam. So let's create a new PHP file and let's call it products.php. Let's add the HTML template. And in the body, let's display the title of this page. So we can write products from PostgreSQL database using ODBC. Now let's add some PHP code to connect to the database. Then let's create a variable, we can call it connection. And it is equal to odbc underscore connect. So this method requires three parameters, the connection string, the username and the user password. So in my case I already installed two drivers, the Divart ODBC driver for PostgreSQL and also the official ODBC driver. So now we need to find the connection string. So let's go to search. And here let's type ODBC. Then let's select setup ODBC data sources for 64-bit systems. Then let's take a look on the available ODBC drivers. So I have the Divart ODBC driver for PostgreSQL in addition to the official ODBC drivers. Now let's create a new system data source. Let's select Divart ODBC driver for PostgreSQL, then finish. Let's provide a name. The description is not required, so let's fill the other fields. The server is the local machine, so let's write localhost. Let's test the connection and we can see that the connection is successful. Now we need the connection string, so let's click on this button and let's copy this connection string. Then OK. Then let's provide the first parameter to this method, so between double quotes we can paste the connection string. So here we can see that we already have the username and the password. That's why we don't need to provide the method with the username and the password. So for the second parameter it can be an empty string and for the third parameter it can be also an empty string. 
So this statement allows us to connect to PostgreSQL using ODBC and the Devart ODBC driver. And to connect to the database using the official driver, we can create another statement. So we can copy this code. Let's paste it here. Then between parentheses, we need to provide three parameters. And to find the connection string of the official ODBC driver, we can go to the browser and we can copy this connection string. So it is available at this URL. Let's paste it here. So this is the name of the driver. We don't need to update it. Then the server is localhost. This is the default port number. Let's change the name of the database. And let's update the user ID. So this is the username. Also, let's update the password. So because this connection string already contains the username and the password, we can just provide an empty string for the second parameter and also for the third parameter. Now let's comment this statement for the moment. This means that we will connect to PostgreSQL using the Devart ODBC driver. Now let's check if the connection is successful or not. So if connection is false, then we will display an error message and we will exit the execution of this file. Otherwise, we need to execute an SQL query to read the data from the database. So we can create a variable called result. It is equal to odbc underscore exec. We have to provide it with the first parameter, which is this connection. Then this is the SQL query. So we will read all the products from the products table. Then let's check if we executed the SQL query correctly or not. So if result is false, then we can display an error message and we can exit the execution of this file. Otherwise, we can display the data from the database into an HTML table. So here, let's create an HTML table. Then let's display the header row. So here we have a table that contains six columns. We have the product ID, the name, the brand, the category, the price, and the date, which correspond to the different columns of the products table in the database. So here in the database, we have this products table that contains these columns. Now we need a while loop to display the different rows from the database into this table. So just here, we can add a PHP code. Then let's add a while loop. So we can create these variables to store the data of the row. So here we have the product ID. It is equal to ODBC result. This is the result variable and this is the column name. Then we have the product name, the brand, the category, the price and the date. Now let's create an HTML table row that contains the data of this product. So let's add echo. And let's create the table row. Let's save the file. We can copy the path of this file. Let's go to the browser. And just here we can paste the path. Let's replace the first part with localhost. And let's press enter. So here we have the data from the PostgreSQL database using the Devart ODBC driver. Now we can put this statement as a command and we can use the second statement. Let's save the file and let's refresh the page. So here we can see that we have this error. We can fix it. And here we can write UID with capital letters. Let's save the file and let's refresh the page. And now we have the data using the official ODBC driver of PostgreSQL.